All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to another episode of Direwolf 21.16, guys. We set off on this world, kind of this base, really, with a mission to make a city around it. And you can't really have a city with one tall building, so today we're going to be building a villager trading hall. Yep, uh, it's, it's going to be kind of a skyscraper-esque thing. We're going to put it kind of over here. Uh, and it's going to go up. Now, I was going to use a very simple design. So this was actually the design I was going to go for here. Now, if you guys are wondering what server this is on, uh, this is on my vanilla fan server. Uh, sponsored by MC Pro Hosting. They give this to us every month. So if you guys do want to go ahead and come on here and play the vanilla server, go ahead and, and uh, join my Discord server. All the, the links to get onto the server are there. And also check out MC Pro Hosting if you want to get your own server. You can get 15% off your first month with the code Turtle Club. So I would go ahead and check them out and see if you can get a nice server because they have some pretty good prices and amazing tech support. So anyway, we were going to go ahead and do this design here that used the carpet, uh, the, the workstation for the villager, the the string, the dispenser, note block, all that. But we actually don't need to do that because we have a mob transport tool. So all we really need to do is the, the wool here, the workstation, uh, and then the fences. Because the villagers are a little bit taller and the carpet makes them stand up a little bit higher, their heads kind of bump into... Uh, this area so they can't move at all they're, they're stuck there so if you just had a solid block back behind uh, they, they can't move at all um, so yeah we're gonna go ahead and do that we're gonna kind of stack this up here uh, and then okay guys so this is going to be our villager trading hall now it is a little narrow but we are gonna have multiple floors going up each floor will have a villager trading section here and here, uh, and this base floor we'll, we'll do something else with because I, I don't want to have the villagers access to um, like any zombies walking in. Uh, we are going to use the method, uh, either doors or the carpet method where zombies can't walk over it. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this built here. So let's get, uh, let's get this farty parted. All right, guys, so we got the general kind of construction, like the... the the dimensions that we're going to be using now we're not going to worry about this wall here or this wall because these are going to be connecting to other buildings so all we have to worry about is this face here and this face uh, i've been really inspired by what bwo has been doing on the hermitcraft server uh he i guess put out a video a couple days ago where he's building this little town area and he has three buildings connected and i think it looks amazing i've always loved that build style so we're going to be trying to use that so we have we're gonna have kind of this like main highway going to our turtle tower and then we're gonna have buildings here buildings here i don't know we might do uh, two buildings or three buildings and then a gap and then three more or two more uh, I don't want to have it very symmetrical other than this and each like tower is going to be something else like this is going to be our, our central area but like say in this tower over here uh, we're going to have something like our immersive engineering all set up like all of our stuff's going to be in here and the buildings are going to look a little bit different so I'm going to start working on the the two faces here on this first floor and we'll see if we we like it All right, so I'll admit I'm not sold on this, but it is a work in progress. We can always go ahead and, and just change it in the long run. We need to go ahead and get started on that second floor. So entrance here, entrance here. I am keeping the entrances right here and then directly in parallel with the center of both of those. We're going to go ahead and put the elevator block here and then we're going to build up one, two, three, four, five, six blocks place another guy and that is where we are starting our next floor all right so that gives us enough room to in fact put a roof there gives us a, a decently tall room uh, and then we're up here so that kind of tripped me out for a second sorry uh we're gonna go ahead and build this out and then we are going to start with the villagers well, actually we are not going to have the elevator here we are going to put the elevator here so we can have the villagers on the side. Like so. So we're going to go ahead and just break this guy. And this guy. And there we go. So we're going to go ahead and fill out this floor real quick and we'll be right back. 
All right, so our builder surely made some short work of that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead here and grab the carpet. Uh, now, we might have hit a little snag. Um, we, we might be able to solve it. So let's see. We're going to maybe go a step up here like so. Uh, and this will allow us... Yes. Um, we're going to do a cool thing here. Yeah, so this is where the villagers are going to be. Like so. We need to build this one block closer. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and put the villagers right here up against the back wall. We can go ahead and, and replace this block out with something that looks quite a bit better. Uh, but just for now, we're actually not gonna go that far. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so the villagers are gonna stand here. Um, they're gonna look at us like this. That is good. Yeah, and then we're going to put their lecterns right here or whatever they're using. And then the trapdoors will go at their head. So what we need to go ahead and do, place one here like this. And then I'm going to, oh wait. No. This one. And we need to place these very directionally. Whoopsie. All right, so these are all placed like so. So these are going to be the villager cells. And then we're going to place blocks here. All right, that'll prevent them from walking forward. Perfect. We're gonna place one, one. We're gonna place another one right there. So then I'm gonna do the same over here. All right. So this is what we have here. So the villagers are gonna be standing here. Their workstations are gonna be out in front of them. Uh, what we can go ahead and do here is build this out so that we know that that has to be here so that we don't see the stands from the side. And then I want to have giant windows here. Uh, we're going to kind of block this area off going all the way up. And then we're going to have giant windows on each of these floors. This will go up for another, uh, I think, two blocks. And then we'll start the next floor. So we're going to go ahead, uh, head back to the tower here. All right, guys. So we are going to have the charging stations be their workstations now. Uh, so we don't actually have to worry about, you know, baby zombies or anything getting in here because this room, other than this elevator, will eventually be completely sealed off from the outside world. So there's nothing to worry about. I've also got some feral lantern or feral, feral lanterns here. What they do is they just light up the, the, the blocks in the area. It's what I have lighting up the, the turtle tower here. That's why you don't see any torches or anything where because those guys are going ham. So let's go ahead Oh, he's a villager. Don't know if that's going to work. That might work. Okay. Um, that could be a problem. We do have one guy here that does trade. Ooh, look at that. Compressed iron. Okay, we need to do the villager sounds. Okay, so now we don't hear these guys, but when we do the trades, we will hear them. So I need to go back over to this village and break every single one of their um, workstations, I guess. Or we just need to create a, a villager breeder, which I think is probably going to be the easier option. All right, guys, so I've got a few more guys over here. This farmer still is having a hard time switching over. That's expensive. Check this guy out. 11 over here. He's got minigun ammo. Look at this out. Guard drone. We got six guard drones from this guy. Very cool. 
And now we're unlocking more of this stuff from Pneumatic Rap. This is the whole reason that we wanted to do this in the first place. You guy, you need to stop dancing because if you don't switch over to one of these cool guys, we're going to turn you into the breeder guy and nobody wants that. Yeah, so um, look, we got pressure tubes. I like this. Cool. Look at all those pressure tubes. Yep, yep. He's updated here. And so we are looking for that PCB. Now, I have a PCB blueprint here. Not too sure what we can do with it. Let's get four of those. Let's see. Uses here. LV light box. Oh, that's not really good, is it? Uh. Okay, maybe you are better. Game crashed. Okay, so we're back after the world crashed. It looked like my graphics driver had actually crashed when I had updated it now, but this guy switched back. How How is that even possible? I don't know. Maybe we had to load a backup. Weird. This guy's trades are gone. The chests aren't here. What is going on? Um... All right, so the good thing about loading a backup is that we can kind of reset this guy's trades because I didn't really like these in the first place. So let's see here. Oh, we need him to actually not have that. Hey, not, don't have that. Hey, stop it. Get rid of this. I don't want it. Well... Whatever, I guess we're moving on to the next guy. So you here. All right. We unlock some cool things. Transistor, everyone needs a trans. Oh, that guy switched over. Very cool. Okay, what do you got here? Oh, logistics drone and guard drone. Very cool, we're gonna keep that guy around. All right, what do you want? Transistors, very cool. We got plenty of those now. Oh, you're the exact same as this guy, right? Slightly different. Nope, the exact same. Yep, the exact same. You're lame. What about you? You got a good deal for some compressed blocks there. I'm a big fan. All right. Pass the tater. And if we don't like the trades, we can always just kind of like, you know, boot them out with our cool little thingamabobber doohickeys. Ooh, collector drone, very cool. Pneumatic cylinder. We're getting so much stuff for pneumatic craft, I don't even know what's going on. All right, programming puzzle piece. Just chisel through all of our stuff. Not a jigsaw. Programming puzzle pieces, and this guy's maxed out. <gasps> Printed circuit board. That's what we wanted. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Yes. Oh, my goodness. So, I think the best thing... I thought something hit me. I think the best thing to put here is going to be the pneumatic craft building. Oh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead off camera and design up this whole place here. Now, this video is being recorded right now. On Tuesday night, I don't think I'm going to get this out on Wednesday. I, I want to put some more time into this video for you guys. So I'm sorry that we're not getting a video Wednesday for you guys in the past. If you guys are wondering, this is why. Because I'm going to do this right for you guys. Okay, guys. So it is about 20 hours from when I, we last left off in the world. Uh, yeah, I've done quite a bit of work on the base. Ooh, that doesn't look that good. Anyway... Yes, I am a fan of this. This is what we're going with here. Um, now, this doesn't look... All, it looks kind of weird by itself, but again, we're going to have a building right here that'll kind of make this look a lot better. But yeah, we're going to go for a brick and sandstone building here. Yep, got it built all the way up. Got these cool-looking doors. Always been a fan of how these look. Like, I just... I think it looks pretty neat. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, here we are. Very cool. I actually, I'm actually a big fan. Um, but check this out. Oh, did you see it? So somehow this one is one block shorter than all the other levels. Um, 
I actually, it looks, it actually looks pretty good from outside. You don't really notice it a whole lot. So if we go over here to the base, yeah, I mean, one, two, bam, one, two. So it's technically symmetrical, you know, symmetrical. You don't have to complain about it, you know. You don't have to put down in the comment section, hey, turtle, you messed up. Or you could, you know, comments are, are good for the, the, the algorithm, which is always nice. But, uh, yeah, guys, I'm actually really, really happy about this. So... Yeah, why don't we go ahead and put all of the dudes in here? I think that's a great idea. So weird not having a staircase. I mean, you just go, what? What? Oh, look at these guys. They did it. What the heck was that? That literally scared the crap out of me. Why aren't you doing anything? You have a... Do you want to do it? You guys are loud. Holy heck. Okay. He doesn't want to do it. Um, Come on. It's right here, you dingus. I know you have yours. Shut up. You. Yours is right here, you dingus. Get it. Ah, whatever. Ah, whatever. Oh, it's, yeah. I, did I show you guys that? Yeah. But I, did I show you guys this? How oh, we got one for cheaper. Yeah. And just a normal drone. So we're going to be getting into pneumatic craft. I did say it right. Pneumatic craft, not pneumatic craft, like I was trying to say. They're shooting each other because they're bad. All right, now we got that stupid thing. All right, so just by drinking some milk, we can get rid of it. Cool beans. So, other than the um, pneumatic craft villagers, we're going to need... The, I want some masons. Because I do... Oh, wait. What is it? Um, it's the saw blade thing. I'm going to do hickey bobber. Here we go. The stone cutter. Yeah, that's the guy we need. So, we're going to make some masons here. Oh, my. I did not mean to use all of my smooth stone. I was going to use that to make some refined or reinforced obsidian. Or re something. So I was going to use it to make something. Okay, so we've got, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think it's one more over. Oh, yeah, and I also have these uh, feral lamps here. They're amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we're going to do it like that. We're going to get the villagers back here. And so we can have some masons because block of quartz. So smelting it, smooth quartz block. But can we turn it back into quartz? Yes, in the enrichment chamber, we can turn this back into the nether quartz. So that is what we're going to be trading with these guys here. Now, we don't have the villager breeder just yet, which is something we kind of really need. But um, I've actually been, like, since since last last recording, I watched a whole bunch of B00's videos. I've been watching him build up some cool stuff. And just watching his videos, I was I was wondering, uh, like, I want to ask you guys a question who are, who are watching, because there are f uh, quite a few of you who watch now. Do you like the more chatty episodes where I talk to you guys more, or do you like it when we just do things when I'm, like, cutting between, and there's not a whole lot of, like, time between doing stuff where I'm like, hey, we're doing this, then we're doing this, then we're doing this, then we're doing this, goodbye. Do you like that style, or do you like when I'm like, hey, look at this building, it looks pretty neat. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I don't like this yet. I need to work on the top part here. But, uh, yeah, I'm liking it. So let me know which, per, which you prefer. Do you like the chatty episodes or do you like the stuff that get the episodes that get right to the point? It would be super helpful. So, anyway, what else can we make here? Um, obviously, we need the lecterns. I do have six of them made up. We definitely need to get um, paper put into one of these. I did put cactus over here into a hopper botany pot so that we can start to get some green dye and then mix it with the bone meal over there. And then I uh, also mined up a whole bunch of sandstone. Don't wonder, don't don't ask the uh, the Sandy City Desert Temple what happened to it. Uh, I mean, he can't tell you anything because he's gone, but don't, don't, don't ask him. 
So, yeah. Okay, so you guys might be wondering what the heck is going on over here. Well, I want to break it down for you guys because we have clay being processed up over here. If we look at the recipe for clay, you can see put into an, a chemical injection chamber with water vapor turns dirt into clay. So what would we have here? Well, we have a sink being pumped, or wa a sink pumping water into a rotary condenser, which turns water into water vapor just for power. And then we have that being pushed over here into water or into this advanced injecting factory, which we just throw a bunch of dirt into. It goes and then it gets put out here into this one. So yeah, because originally uh, I was going to make that sandstone part out of Coke bricks. Now these are very expensive and I was so down for it, but I did it and I was like, eh, I don't know. But thinking about it probably would look pretty good because the the sandstone here really stands out because it, it's... It's standstone. Oh, standstone. Whatever, whatever. I'm gonna see myself out. Anyway, so if you guys want, if you think the coke, the the coke bricks here will look better, um, I will go ahead and do that. Let's let let's see here. I do have quite a few of these guys crafted up already, uh, and I do have some bricks. And we got some sandstone. Okay, so let's let's go ahead and. Give it a wee gander. So, we could do something like this, right? Um, or, what we have now is this. Hmm. I'm going to be honest. I'm really liking that. Like, really liking it. I don't know why I didn't think it looked good. Um, quiet, please. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and switch it out with the Coke brick. Now, this is a quite the flipping process because there are quite a few of the chisel and bit blocks here. So I kind of have to go through and fix that because, I mean, they don't have smooth sandstone stairs. Like, I had to make these out of chisel and bricks. These are vertical half slabs from chisel and bits. These are weird looking um but yeah after seeing that i think it would do i think it would look really good if we swapped it out wait a second i was just chiseling and bits and and i was like what the heck is going on here it's a solar eclipse holy heck batman that is really freaking cool and weird What's the light level at? 15. So it's only a visual thing, but... Yeah, I looked up and I was like, what is going on? Why does the sun look like that? I realized it was a solar eclipse. Very cool. But yeah, I'm liking the look of this a lot more, honestly. I think these uh, complement these quite a bit, so pretty neato. All right, guys, so I brought the windows up down here just a little bit, and don't worry, we're going to fix all of the... The blocks there. We got micro blocks in this game. That that's no problem whatsoever to fix that. But yeah, guys, I uh, I'm really liking it. I think it looks really really neat. So, um, yeah. Unfortunately, that's gonna wrap up the episode for today, guys. If you did enjoy the video, please make sure to hit the like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But guys, it's been Super Turtle, and we kind of set up a uh, a villager trading hall. It's pretty kind of neat. If I do say so myself. But anyways, I'll see y'all later. Peace out. Bye-bye.